Taylor started doing farmers markets about six years ago. There was no other shellfish at farmers markets. The King County in Seattle Health Department didn't allow fresh shellfish at the markets. Through group efforts of education, uh, we finally convinced the health department that it was a safe thing to do. So as soon as they allowed fresh shellfish in the markets, we were there ready to go. We're required to have this. It's the same sign that's on the back of the shellfish tags. And this is what's the back on every shellfish tag all over the country. We have to provide a safe environment to sell shellfish at a farmer's market. And when I started doing them, I kept the shellfish in tubs with racks in the bottom of the tubs, but I'd have to drain the water out constantly. So I came up with this drain system um, where the ice melts, and there's holes in the drain tub, in the tubs, the water drains into a rack that has a trough on it, and then there's hoses that go down and drain in a bucket. So the shellfish are never sitting in the water. And it's amazing how many people come up and look at that rack because it is pretty unique. Uh, even the coolers have to be approved by the health department. Uh, they have to be a certain type of cooler that can hold things cold for five days. Um, we're dealing with a very, uh, the health department calls a high-risk food, uh, perishable. Uh, they're affected by heat. Uh, bacteria can grow in, in oysters if they're not kept refrigerated. So we have a lot of coolers. We load the product in first. We put the shellfish in first and then fill it with three or four inches of ice on top so the cold goes down. We have racks in the bottom of the coolers so that as the ice melts, the shellfish are never sitting in melted ice water. Oh. So we can drain the coolers you know, tomorrow when we get to the market and uh, the, the ice will still be on top, but the shellfish never sit in the water. Um, because they're live, they can, they can take that water in and it's fresh water so they could, they could die if they start taking in that fresh water.